In this video, we are going to discuss maximum power transfer theorem and we will do a problem. For many circuits, it is necessary to transfer maximum power from source to load. The equation for power it is I square R. For load resistor, I am finding the power. So I square R. What is the value of I? This is a series circuit. So I will be, what is I? I is V by R. V is the source voltage. So Vs divided by R. R is the total resistance. That is Rs plus RL. Now power equal to I square into RL. I it is Vs divided by Rs plus RL the all square multiplied by RL. So power will be equal to RL into Vs square divided by Rs plus RL the all square. Now we need to find the maximum power. For finding maximum power what we will do? We will differentiate this power. So dp with respect to RL. For load resistor we need to find the maximum power. So we will differentiate with respect to RL. How can we differentiate it? The function is there in the numerator and denominator. So how can we differentiate d by dx of f by g? That is g into f dash minus f into g dash divided by g square. Portion rule. Okay. So this is our g and this is our f. So first of all g into f dash. g it is rs plus rl square into f dash. Differentiate numerator only. So differentiating with respect to rl d by drl of Vs square into RL. Here Vs square is constant. So we will take Vs square outside. Then D by DRL by DRL it will be 1. So we will get Vs square minus F. F is a numerator that is Vs square into RL. Then G dash. G dash is the denominator's derivative. That is D by DRL of Rs plus RL square. So we will get 2 Rs plus RL. So we will get 2 Rs plus Rl divided by denominator square. Denominator it is Rs plus Rl square is the denominator its square. So all square. Now for finding maximum we need to equate dp by drl equal to 0. We studied it in the differentiation in mathematics. Finding maxima and minima. Okay. So we need to equate it to 0. So this term it will become 0 and the remaining term it will be the numerator. In numerator Vs square is common. So I am going to take it out outside. So Vs square I took outside. Then Rs plus Rl square minus Rl into 2. I am going to write 2Rl. 2Rl into Rs plus Rl equal to 0. So this Vs square will become 0. Now I am going to open this bracket A plus B the whole square. That is Rs square plus Rl square plus 2rs rl minus open this bracket so it will become 2rl rs plus not plus it will be minus minus into my plus it will become minus minus 2rl into rl it will become rl square equal to 0 from this this 2 will get cancelled and the remaining time it is rs square plus rl square minus 2rl square equal to 0 from this we will get rs square minus rl square equal to 0. From this we will get rs square equal to rl square. Square and square will get cancelled and we will get rs equal to rl. So for maximum power transfer the source resistor should be equal to load resistance. Maximum power transfer theorem states that maximum power will be transferred from source to load when load resistance is equal to source resistance. Now in this question we need to find the value of load resistance for maximum power transfer and we need to find the value of maximum power. We need to find the value of power and we need to find the value of load resistance. As we know for maximum power transfer theorem power it is I square into R1. Okay. The value of I it is V by R. V it is source voltage that is 50 volt divided by R it is Rs plus Rl. Rs it is 25 ohm plus Rl. 
we know for maximum power transfer theorem r is equal to rl so source resistance it is 25 ohm therefore load resistance will be also 25 ohm so rl we can replace it as 25 ohm so 50 divided by 25 plus 25 it is 50 so 50 by 50 it is going to be 1 so the value of current it is 1 ampere now the value of maximum power power equation it is i square into rl i it is 1 so 1 square it is 1 into rl it is 25 so 1 into 25 it is 25 watt so the power maximum power it is 25 watt